I'm Alicia Silverstone, and you're watching Veg TV. Hi, I'm Marie Ozer, and welcome to Veg TV, coming to you from the gorgeous island of Hawaii. Reporting from the beautiful Cinca Hotel in the heart of Arusha, Tanzania. Here at Paramount Pictures, New York Street, back lot in Hollywood. We're in Chicago at the All Things Organic Expo to see what's new in the world of organics. Dr. Neil Barnard, founder and president of Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine in Washington, D.C. Welcome, Dr. Barnard. Thank you. It's great to be with you. We are going to explore the northern state of Rajasthan. What's it like being a Raja in the 21st century? You know, to be a Raja in this sanctuary, it's, it's, it's a very easy job. We jumped into jeeps at the Raja's palace, came out into the countryside to visit the Bishnoi people. We're in Goa, a tiny, gorgeous state on the west coast of India. In Udaipur with Ritu Sherma. We're at an eco-retreat in the Aravali Mountains. Santa Barbara here in Southern California at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Anaheim Convention Center. feel healthy. I mean, everyone always asks me, what's you know, your secret to staying in shape? And I, I, I don't know, because I don't really work out that much, but I am vegetarian. I'm Jane Goodall, and you're watching Veg TV. I hear you're a Philly girl. I am a Philly girl. Me too. <laughs> right on. That Hamakua heaven. Why is it called Hamakua anyway? The Hamakua heaven, the reason why we call it that is because the main ingredients come from the Hamakua coast of oh. the Big Island. Tell us how you made that. The tofu was marinated in like ginger, soy, some lime juice, a little bit of chilies. Hi, I'm Sean Astin and you're watching Veg TV. Hit Veg TV! He's so excited. Hi, I'm Heather Mills McCartney and you're watching Veg TV, which makes you very cool. Organic fiber has come a long way from its homegrown hippie image to outdoor chic and runway hip. Cotton is actually one of the most heavily sprayed industries in the world, and it, although it represents less than 3% of the world's agriculture, it's over 25% of the world's chemical insecticides. Farmers were all organic back then, and that's what we're doing today. Well, here I am, back to the future at McGrath Family Farms in Oxnard, California. And you know what? It's organic. And why do you shop at farmers markets? Well, I shop here usually because the produce is the freshest that you can find. Vicky, these are so good. Tell me about the, the product you have here. It's all cookies. So many foods now that are available at the market, you know, that you can pick up and you could have to make quick, you know. Uh, could grab right out of the refrigerator and you don't have to cook it or prepare it. And same with drive throughs now. A lot of them are having veggie burgers just like the restaurants are. So it's really very easy. What was it that made you become vegetarian? When, uh, when I read Francis Moore LePay's book, uh, Diet for a Small Planet, back in the um, late 60s, early 70s. Well, I've been vegan for about 10 and a half years. I just became stronger and healthier and happier. Can't think of anything better in the world to be but be vegan. Cancer runs in my family. My father died from it, my aunts, my uncles, and down the line cousins. I just decided, you know, I'm going to break the chain. As an animal person, you do think about it. Your compassion has given you pause. That's a well, good way to put it. You're right. That's very well said. My compassion has given me pause. I'm Alec Baldwin, and you're watching Veg TV. You are watching Veg TV. Veg TV. Veg TV. Veg TV. See? Right here. Veg TV. It was very good to talk to Veg TV. I like the name of your TV place, Veg. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll go Veg myself. Thank you very much. <laughs>